Today I'll be showing you how to make a very special treat that I'm making for a very special person um, because tomorrow we have a hike that's planned and I decided that since my dear friend Cameron really loves banana flavored and just treats with banana um, I decided to make him banana squares and yeah, I decided that I was going to also film that so that you guys can also share that with your families and whatever special person is out there for you. When I say special, it's just for stop. Please don't go far. Just special to my heart, okay? Anyway, and now let's begin making the banana squares. So in here, we have half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of oat flour, you know me, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, this is optional, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a pinch of turmeric for some color. I don't even know if it's gonna impart that much of its color, but you know, it's worth a try. And we have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder as well. And this, this one, you guys might find weird, but we also have a pinch of black pepper. That's because black pepper really helps um, with your body to easily absorb the nutrients found in the turmeric so that's why the black pepper is there and it's very little so you won't taste it i'm just going to give that a mix just to ensure that it's evenly incorporated the baking powder is everywhere and the spices are incorporated everywhere mix it up a little mix 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 and then we'll also be adding in here we have two tablespoons of melted butter and to that we'll be adding in a little bit of this oil, just a little bit to thin it out, and some of this natural peanut butter. Um, I got this at Checkers, I really love this peanut butter. It doesn't have any added sugars, doesn't have any added salt, so it won't be adding too much sweetness or whatever to your baking ingredients. As you can see, this is what natural peanut butter looks like. It's very runny like oily it separates but it's fine you can just mix you won't die we're just adding in a teaspoon of that because we don't want too much of the peanut butter. Um, now that we've added our peanut butter we will be mixing that in banana and its additional um, good fats that we're adding so that I don't have to add as much oil I'm just adding in peanut butter next I'll be adding in a teaspoon of vanilla essence this is optional you don't have to do this but I think it gives it a nice smell when it's baking and it imparts some lovely vanilla flavor besides the banana that will be there we will be using all of these bananas these are pretty small that's why i'm using all of them and also because they're very ripe it'll help to sweeten our um, banana squares especially because i'm not adding any sugar to this at all this is going to be completely sugar free um, the milk that we're using is also sugar free so yeah for those of you that are sugar free you can use this, I guess. Now that it's been mixed well, we'll also be adding in our non dairy milk where we put in um, some apple cider vinegar so it's separating a little. But that's okay because it's going to react with the baking powder and help it rise even better this is the unsweetened soy milk it'd really help you if i had a blender to remove these lumps but you know that i don't i don't hate them i don't really hate them so it's fine okay now that we have our dry mixture here we're going to put in our wet mixture not all at once we're going to put it in in increments so we'll put in our first half As you can see, it's a little bit too thick, or well, at least for my liking. So I am going to be adding in just some water, just to. Done. 
know that this is mixed well. We're gonna transfer this into it. This plant keeps following me everywhere. I wonder why. <laughs> okay, now that we have our mixed batter, we have an already greased pan here that we're gonna be pouring our water into. Honestly, I, was, I wanted to make um, banana muffins for him, but then I don't have a muffin tin here with me. So that's why I decided to just remix because we got the flow. And in life, you know, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay if things don't always go your way. You just have to move forward. Keep on moving forward. Hi. Okay. Now I'm going to sprinkle it with our reserved oats. Remember our oats from before? That we reserved. I'm just going to bring it on top. If you want, you can also add chocolate chips, or you can add some nuts, or you can add, you know, whatever you want. You can add slices of banana as well. Make it look pretty. Alright, and those are our banana squares before they're cooked, and we're going to show you the after, the makeover, the, the part we're all looking for. Put it in our oven for 20 to 25 minutes and check on it halfway and then it should be done and we will check on it later i hope you've stopped <laughs> it's fully cooked otherwise i'll put it in for the last five minutes hmm. clean clean okay it's done, but I want it to crisp up at the top as well, so I'm just going to move it to a higher tray. Okay, um, it's done now. Now we can take it out. I just switched off the oven. I'm going to let it cool down in the pan for 10 minutes, and then I'll slice it up after it has cooled down a bit, just so that we can give it time to sit and rest. And then after that, I will take it out and package it for our hike tomorrow. Um, now that they've cooled down, I've decorated them with a sprinkle of cinnamon and coconut. If you want to make them a little bit sweeter, you can also um, drizzle on some maple syrup, which I did. I just dug in some little holes and then I put in some maple syrup. But then again, the sweetness is perfectly fine because there's banana, which many bananas for that matter which were very ripe as well so they were very very sweet we could take advantage of the sweetness there and also there's also dates in here i forgot to mention there's a quarter cup of dates that were mashed and put in here for some natural sweetness as well and at the end of the day it's according to how sweet you like your baked goods to be um and these are my banana breakfast squares